Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Bismarck Reich, playing as a Kingdom of Prussia. So, I want to address at least one of the comments from yesterday, or at least from the last video. Uh, now, I appreciate all your comments, and I read them all. I read all your comments. I generally like all of them, but uh, one comment was saying, you should try the Pacific Path. Well, I'm not sure what you mean by Pacific Path. Uh, we have a Prussian army, I mean, regarding the Pacific, we have technology trade... Naval, technology, trade. Seems kind of cool. Not sure where the Pacific is in with this one, but he said Pacific, which I think he might mean, or she might mean, peaceful policy, or politicy. Greece, aggressive politicy. Hmm. Uh, I could try the peaceful path of going with Middle Europa, which sounds like a lot of fun. Rest, oh. Uh, we might do that. Expand Middle Europa, or we go aggressive. Which, aggressive sounds like a lot more fun, because we need a lot of action. With this early game stuff, it's already 1941, has been really too peaceful for me, and I really don't like doing any more peace. So I'll probably go with aggressive, just because we need we need more war. But last time we took out Hes Schleswig-Holstein, we could take out the Kingdom of Hanover, which is already gone. But we're doing stresses in the south, and hopefully we'll go to war with the Bavarian Commune. Which would be a great amount of fun, since... Yeah, I don't know why we still have that focus ready to go. Um... Oh, good. Fascists make a successful coup, coup in the Poland. Well, that's not good for the Poles. Quite interesting. Uh, the Fangalist Polish Empire. Oh, look at that. Construction speed. Ooh, who wants to join? Wait, what? What? Wait, so I'm in the Reichsback, right? right? Um, emergency options. I mean, I guess technically this could be a really good time to take out, like, the Baltics. Uh, I, I actually kind of like that idea. I mean, we want to do treaties with Russia, non-aggression pact, Treaty of Moscow, Operation Barbarossa, Fall of Paris. Uh, <laughs> sure, yeah. Um, screw it, why not? Let's get it, let's go, let's get to war. Come on, let's do, let's do something here. A little something, something. Uh, we'll put you guys, like, all around here first. Sure, why not? Sure, let the Russians join the Reichs Pact. Oh, they want to actually be the leader of it. They need 88 out of 108 needed. Ooh, that's not good. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely don't want them to be leaders of this. If that's the case, I'm going to need to build up more military, fa more civilian factories so I can build more of everything, really. So do that. Get that up in there first. That's probably a little bit more important. Um... Honestly, if they do that, I'm gonna... T I don't want them to become the leader of the faction, that makes no sense. I'm gonna do that. Uh, war propaganda against UK, Soviet Baltic Socialists. Got more divisions, so I'm pretty good right now. Uh, are our soldiers over there? And actually, do we have... Oh, we do have tanks. Nice, throw the tanks over here too. I'll come in very soon, very soon. But I do have a cup of Bismarck, or Prussian coffee. Mmm, some of that... Some, that sounds like some of the greatest stuff ever known to man. Prussian coffee. Oh, yes. Alright, let's just go ahead and go to war. I have a good feeling they won't be able to do very much against us. And I plan on doing quite a bit of damage to these fellas over here. If possible. Now, obviously our first attacks aren't really necessarily winning, but, you know, whatever. And the French Empire wants to help us up. Okay, cool, yeah. I will gladly accept the French, French help right now. Gladly accept it. Go right ahead, guys. If, basically for this piece... Now, I'll give the Russians, like, Ukraine, probably, well, probably. They can have Belarus and that Caucasia, but I want the Baltics. I get the Baltics, unless we trade territory. Like, I want all the Baltics up until this, like, little line of river here. And then maybe we'll take a little bit of Belarusian territory, so that the Russians can still get Leningrad and stuff like that. I think that'd be kind of fair. And, yeah, I do not want them to lead the faction. I might just kick them out before that happens, so... Losses thus far, 663. They've lost over a million. Wow. Wow. That's quite a bit. And I only have infantry here. And this infantry, so only 20 combat with, but they're looking pretty darn decent. Hmm. How are my tanks doing? They're doing pretty well. Get to Riga. Make a beeline for it. Maybe we can encircle some enemies there. Nice. Oh, our allies are trying to attack as well. Our Russian allies. It's not going great for them, but that's okay. Oh, we finished up those other factories. Great. 95% of the way there. The French want to help us out, which... 
Makes no sense lore-wise, but whatever. We will gladly accept that. Hold. For now, I want you guys to go around this way. Uh, do that, actually, instead. There you go. Come over here real quick. Actually, if anything, you guys could probably break that way. Oh, peace conference. Kingdom of Egypt is gone. Good job, guys. Great job. We can encircle at least one division there. And we're running out of fuel. What else is new? But that's a thick Austria-Hungary. My goodness. Italy's looking good. Switzerland, France is looking terrifying a little bit just because they ate up everyone else down there. You know what's always good? Joining a war after, like, the war's already started and everyone else is, like, pretty, pretty kind of defeated or depleted. Really depleted at this point. It's always kind of nice when you do it like so. When you do stuff like that. Go right on ahead if you can. You might break over the river. You might not. You kind of here just holding them. You might win. I don't know. I have a good feeling we're going to win this war. We lost 8,000. Yeah. Not bad. The Russians are pushing in. It's actually making the Russians weaker, so. If they backstab us, well, that's okay. Stress is in the south. Good. Next up, we could do... Lose the referendum. Recollect generals from reunified areas. Great. We get six more generals. We lose quite a bit of political power. Holy cow. But, uh, you know what? I'm going to take this one first. We're going to lose political power anyway, so we might as well use it while we have it for now, so I can get even more factories going. Uh, do that first. That's more important with what's going to happen here soon. Good. Let's get over there and have a sip of Prussian coffee. Oh yeah, we're also fighting the Finns. I forgot about that. That's okay. We lost 15,000. Wow. Our casualties are definitely going up as we are attacking, attacking, attacking more. But I have a good feeling these guys cannot keep this up. They are running out of men, I believe. Let's see. They have. Oh, they got a lot of guys there. A lot of guys there. Loads of guys. Hmm. Then you know what? I guess we'll stop our attacks for now. Finish off what you're doing. Oh man, you guys are going crazy town. Free from the front line. That was a really good initial thrust. All right, you guys. Oh, we actually took a Riga. That's nice. Good. Good job, guys. I want to break over here, maybe. Oh, there's mountains down here. That's not good. Yeah, you guys come over here and break. Everyone get to front line. We're going to cut this area off. Um, I might actually just take this ter territory away from them and give it to Austria-Hungary. Because they do have a core on it? Claim. They have a claim, not a core. Nice. 94%. It's going down slowly, slowly, slowly. Good. Let's get re more more and more reorganized. Re organize organizing yourself is a very important thing to do. Please stop killing yourself off. Over here is fine, though. Alright. So we've lost 31,000. That's really not too bad. Versus these guys. Oh, I need more artillery. Hmm. And medium tanks. RT. Nice. And, ooh, another light tank. Good. Jolly good. Let's let these guys move around first. That's fine with me. Cut these guys off from the south. And good enough. Take half of you guys go there. One of you guys go up there as well. Just push. You should be able to push these guys out. They can pierce you kind of, but that shouldn't be too much of a deal. Ah, two front war for these guys. Good, good, good. Yeah, these guys are looking pretty weak. Which is looking pretty awesome. Oh, are we attacking? No, my friend, you don't need to attack. Ah, look at that. They're going to be out of supply very soon. Um, I guess probably send them down that way. Good. Hey, at least we're getting some action here. That's always good. It's always good to get a little bit of action. I'm surprised they aren't losing any more support yet. They could take that tile, but honestly, that really doesn't matter too much. Mm, it really doesn't matter where we're going. Oh the, oh, the French are here. That's right. Yeah, they took, that, they took that tile, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Hey, look. Part of their army's encircled. Great. And they're suffering from attrition. Love it. Pop them out. You guys come back over there. Good. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, we might still be able to win, though. 
And these guys are starving for supplies. Let's put them out of their misery. Wait, why are you selected? No, you guys come over there. Good. Good. Oh, they're even attacking my line. Nice, yes. Oh, they're even Oh, well, my line's looking pretty bad, not gonna lie. Looking pretty darn bad. Hurry up, kill these guys off. Send everyone in the battle. And two more divisions are gone. Hmm. I would love to be able to break across to the Russian lands, but we'll see what happens. Alright, so we're going to let our guys reform the line a little bit. It's not looking too good. If we could get cut off here, we would die. I would die in real life. Probably not, but emotionally I would. And there goes the Kingdom of Sai... Who's killing all these people? Is it Japan? Who killed off Egypt? Ah, the Brits, of course. It's cool seeing Russia on like a 1, 2, 3-ish kind of front war. That's kind of cool. Ah, another division. Good. Less losses we've hit, 50,000, whatever. Recollect generals, we've lost an insane amount of political power, but whatever. Tackle the Bavaria. Now nah, we good right now. Loser of the referendum. We don't need to do that ever. Uh, let's go and do the Prussian army. So, political power. Ah, what could be better than political power? Wow, that is looking pretty weak, not gonna lie. How about you just walk right in or just roll right in on your treads here? Um, we can circle them, but... Honestly, not much is really going to change about that. We could take Pinsk. Sounds like fun. You guys could help with this, probably. Why are you go? Nah, you don't, they don't. They don't need to move. Oh, we got to circle ourselves. Well, that sucks. If that's the case, and if they want to do that, I'm going to make sure that they can't move whatsoever. So all I have to do is win one of these three spots, and then we win. So, to rescue these guys. I wanted to do encirclement, but obviously that's not going to happen. Oh well. Now eh, we got supply. Nice. Come here immediately. Smash them this way. So we can kill that one division off. Good, 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 good. Get ready. Help them out. And they died. Nice. Wait. Why are there so many different colors here? Oh, are you guys doing stuff down here? Uh, oh, what? You need to be put under a field marshal. Led by Heinz Guderian. Oh my goodness, you are looking fancy there, Heinz. Hmm. I guess you guys could lead, like, down here. That'd be fine. Actually makes a little bit more sense. So then you guys can lead right here. Concentrator force is a little bit better. Uh, yeah, that'd be fine. Hmm, where do we want to put our guys? Oh, did they take back Riga? They did. Darn it. That sucks. Oh, we need more armored cars. That's not good. That goes... Oh, yeah, we definitely go need more armored cars. Um, we need more artillery, but I don't mind sacrificing it just a little bit right now. Our jewelry's doing pretty well anyways, regardless, so. Alright. Next up, you guys come right here. Go that way. I'm gonna let the Russians do a lot of the work here, because it a lot of it a lot of the land is just gonna go to them, and I can't afford to lose all my infantry just yet, or my manpower. They're doing well, pretty well in the Caucasus, so that's pretty good. Armored cars looking pretty bad. Definitely gonna need some more. Going to definitely need more light tanks, too. Uh, if that's the case, I don't mind doing this, perhaps. Like, come back to cavalry, perhaps. Ooh, there's a little bit of supply issue, I see. If that's the case. Uh, you're going to go like that. Um, you guys could probably do pretty well that way. Not going to lie. Looks pretty open to me. Oh, Wilhelm. No, nothing. Oh, Minsk is... Not really defended that well. Huh. Well, I guess I'm just gonna walk in. 
Construction 4. Eh, we're just walking to Minsk. More output seems like a really good idea right now. Uh, I guess we're not going to capitulate yet. I guess we got to get Gomel, which is fine. Whatever. You guys are up. Well, you're trying to get up here. At this point, they're really not trying to guard their line too well. So, you guys up north, just have at the... They're, they're going to fall this way. They can't do anything. Let the tanks roll out, too. Yeah, they're really... Yeah, they're really trying to beat or kill the Russians off as hard as possible. Russia is lucky to have me as an ally. Russia, you're lucky the Germans like you. Or at least the Prussians. I don't know about the, Ger the rest of the Germans, but the Prussians, I kind of like them. You just, like, do that. Just <laughs> try to connect. Oh, Prince Caucasia is great news. It is great news. More soldiers are going to be across the line here now. Cool, you guys can go that way, you guys. You could do that, or you guys could come here too. And in circle that division, just kill it off. Ah, uh, August is doing a great job. He's level 6 attack, or 6 attack. Prussian army, I love it. So, with the Prussian army, do we side with Hindenburg? Or von Mackensen, we lose political power regardless. Make Wilhelm III general or a field marshal. This costs more political power that we don't have. So take some generals. Von Manstein and Henrici. Work on the weapons. Okay, work on light tanks. Work on motorized. Work on medium tanks. Well, I like this one more. I guess we're going to make Wilhelm III a dude. So, I was a side with August von Mackensen. He's currently a field marshal, so I don't really want to piss him off too much. He's, he's pretty good, overall. Eh, we lose 100,000 guys. That's not too bad in this, uh, can't, this war. It's not too bad. Especially if that helps us get Russia in, into our alliance. Keep making more of these factories, factorinos. So how far do we have to go with these guys? Because obviously we're not winning really down here that well. You know what? Take the tanks. They seem to be very slow today. Break across this way. We gotta get to the Russians. Or at least as close to the Russians as possible. Hmm. Couldn't win right there. Man, they are, they must be doing like desperate defense or last stand. Because that is a bit ridiculous. Good. See if you guys can just make it down here. Good. Ah! We have made it, my friends. We have made it. Glorious day. Kill them off. Immediately attack. Don't give them rest. Do not let them move. Tons of firepower that way. Good. They're actually trapped there a little bit. Oh, hello. You are not allowed to leave. Good. So at this point, you guys can probably just thin yourselves out a little bit more. Uh, don't do that. That's a little crazy. There you go. You guys hold the guys down there. That'd be fine. Help support the attack there. Kill them off there. Nice. Very nice. Light tanks have done a great job. Well, two out of the five are dead. That's great. That is really great. We have 18% war score participation. Awesome. I'm going to let Russia focus on taking them out quite a bit. And we, for some reason, we own Minsk. So, I'm not really going to complain about that. It's kind of nice. All right, now we're gonna turn up the heat here. Hold on, not, not like that. I don't want to be in Russian lands. Not really, not too much. Yeah, we're gonna lose a little more than 100,000 men, but whatever. 120, 150. We lose 150,000 for the first, like, 100 miles into Russia? That's fine with me. <sighs> Prussian coffee, that is some good stuff. Sorry if I'm a little loud with my drinking too. So, sorry. Um. Oh, they're actually coming to this side too. Nice. Zetomer. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, some one guy to take out these islands. Uslan is that? Is that Uslan? No, Harju. Harju. Very cool. I'd feel really bad right now if I were Trotsky. I mean, he tried to kill off Stalin, but. Hmm. Oh, these ships still need to get finished, yeah. Oh, motorized. That sounds like fun. Can't really afford it right now. Actually, do I have planes? Did I not use planes yet? 
I guess I've not used planes yet. Huh. I'll just put you right there. Oh. That is my bad. Nice. Put you right there. Put you right there. Put you right there. And then do some of that. And then do some of that. Good. Hopefully they're splitting off. And we get some air support. Maybe get some more air XP. Aw, oh, yeah. We're getting just none right now at the current moment of my, you know, words. But maybe we can get some more. Oh, we're doing a great job. Oh, yeah. Just go. Pew. Pew. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, yeah. Nice. We're doing really well here. But we still need to always make sure that we always have plenty of military factories. Ah, side with him. I think that's a great choice. Make Wilhelm III a field marshal. Yes, we lose even more political power because we didn't. But we don't love political power enough. And then we'll go to war with the communist Bavarians. You know, I bet supplies not doing really well. Oh, there we go. So, even though Russia did deserve a lot more than I do in this war, I'm still going to give them most of the stuff, you know. Alright. Russia, you deserve most of the stuff since, I mean, most a lot of this is yours, so I'll let you do that. And the Ukraine before I do anything else. Now, I want them to take Leningrad back as well. Uh, you can have all of that. I want the Baltics, though. That is key for me. Just because I came into this war, and I think I deserve it. That being said... Hmm... Russia should get more. I mean, they got Finland, they got this group, they got this group. I took all of this, so I'm going to split this up a little more. I'm going to get a little Bilo-Russian puppet for now. Liberty Lithuania, now. Nah. Satellite them? Vilno? Nah. I could... Mm, I don't want to deal with resistance. We'll see what happens. This is going to look really bad, probably. Nice. Yeah, Belarus. Hey, that's not too bad, actually. That looks really good. He, uh, Soviet counts. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Um. I don't like that. Is it possible for me? Hmm. You know what? I I made a bad boo-boo. Uh, crud. Yeah, I made a mistake in peace conference just because eventually they would turn communist. And right now, I don't think we have a really good opinion of communists here. I'm just saying, especially with these guys down here. I usually I usually hate what the heck Ireland. But uh, <laughs> I don't hate Ireland, but I don't like doing that if I don't have to. And just do this for in case the, the poles might do something weird. You never know. Leave with the tanks. But yeah, I really hate using console commands, but that's why I put this not on Iron Man, just because you never know what might happen. And, ooh, 98% of the way there. Ooh, no, 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 my friends. No. Ooh, I, we're probably going to need more garrisons? Maybe not. Atomic research? Great. Great. So we'll make Wilhelm the Third a field marshal. Then we're going to go to go war. Well, I should have done this earlier too. Going to go to a war with those pesky Bavarian soldiers. Now, how are our medium tanks? Not very good. So we're going to make them even worse. There we go. Better. Even though we need more here, we actually get a little surplus, which is kind of nice. All right. Oh, we lost quite a few factories doing that. Hmm. Mechanized offensives. All right, looks delightful, my friends. Kampfgruppe, yes. More infantry is usually a good thing. I don't trust the poles. We're working on getting more fuel. Oh, we have a battleship, nice. Throw them right there, because why not? How many more ships do we have to make? Uh, if I look at it, I'm going to be disappointed, so we're not going to look at it. Destroyer, destroyer, destroyers, medium tanks are coming along. We definitely need more military factories, but there's not much I can do about it right now. 
I have to really just speed through getting more factories. But you know what? The Russia here, being my ally, we can probably, you know, really just kill everyone in Europe. Unless we go to war with somebody, which wouldn't be very good. So, Tulla Project. Ooh, Disperse Industry 4. Great. Eh, get some more fuel. Why not? So, do you have a, like, a, do you have a focus tree, which is cool. Russian Industrial Projects. Rostov. Kan Kalinin Project. Cool. Do they have anything else around here? Oh, at least we can see what they're doing now. Preparations for the war. Attack the communists. Well, I think they already did that. Operation Leningrad. Sorry, this focus is not finished yet. Sorry for taking your time with this focus. Smiley face. Get more generals. Change the Leningrad's name. Winner of the Civil War. Hopefully they don't want any territory that I took from them. Down the purge. End of the weak government. Yeah, weak governments aren't fun. Even though sometimes they can be really good for business. Hmm. Tackle the Bavaria. I love the Bavaria, except when it's owned by communists. No communists in our Germany. It's funny. What is this? EU4 Prussia? You know, you expand going, you know, east instead of taking all the regular Germany. What is France even doing? They even helped us in our war. Emig they even immigration crisis. When Prussians arrived in France in 1929? Ooh, India's killing each other. These Prussians are lazy and damaging the French economy. Is that supposed to be a take on, like, modern France? That might be. Partition of, or, I guess, Partian of Suez. Weakened monarchism. Oh, well, I guess it's pretty weak and we have a lot of fascist and communist support. French people want war, well, so do I. Ooh, and probably another infantry division. Good. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to train my guys yet. You guys can train, though. Tanks. Oh, look. They look pretty good. Definitely need more tanks. We're working on it. We got plenty of guns right now, though. Hmm. Plenty of guns. We're doing pretty well on armored cars. We can lower that by now. Spread out our armored cars to other things like... Fighter 2s. Uh, we're pretty much done with this. I might put one on for now. We might take enough losses with that. That's really uh, justified. Okay, yeah, go do that for now, too. I really want to get these close air support and motorized rocket artillery done, too. Uh, it's happy 1942, though. Happy 1942. How many divisions do these guys have? I am going to assume that they have quite a bit. So which means we're going to need quite a bit of air power. But we do have five factories on fighters. Which is great. Vest Germany. Alright, go ahead. Probably going to take 50,000, 75,000 losses in this war, and we have declared war on the Bavarian Commune. Next up, lose with our friend emergency option. That sounds like fun. I wonder what the emergency is. Uh, let's, let's see if we can just attack them. Do we win? They have quite a few divisions over here. They can kind of pierce us. They don't have air superiority, and attacks like this are going to go a little crazy, but I will gladly call in my Russian allies. Could we win here? At least push some way some area 67 oh we're starting to lose in a couple of these states that's not good maybe do it like that break through here oh we actually broke through here that's nice immediately help push that way and then come down there take Nuremberg this is just merely a front line to oh my goodness they're coming in to help hold the line, kind of, but, uh, yeah, I'm... Okay, so not too bad. It's not really that bad so far. Good. Do we have any close air support we could throw in there? A little bit, yes. More close air support. Air power, we're doing pretty well with damage. Oh, we cut off three divisions. Awesome. Awesome. Good. Yeah, I am killing my guys off just a little bit too much. Yeah, but eh, it's okay. We've already spread down here pretty well, so. And I'm keeping their soldiers trapped over here, which is not too bad. Can you get, you get, get to Munich? Because with these guys sacrificing their guys like this... Oh, yeah, we only threw research slots. God dang it. Um, that's not too bad, actually. Oh, we cut them off! Look at that! We cut them off! You cut us, you hurt us, you kill off so many good young Prussian men who could have had lives, but you chose communism and said, this is why you can't trust commies. 
You just can't trust him. Yes, I know Karl Marx was a German, but whatever. For the speech, it's good enough. Uh, I'll grab some excavation. We could probably use it for Navy Tungsten? Oh, oh, 20 divisions are trapped there. Oh, now that. You know, even though they're enemies, they've lost a third of a million manpower. Or, you know, just... Yeah, just manpower. They're still Germans. You killed off so many sons of Germany. That is ridiculous. That is beyond ridiculous. And now the commies must pay. With their lives, of course. Naturally. Oh, we want you not to do that. We want you to do all this. Thank you, Russia. I'm glad you came into my alliance. I mean, a German-Russian alliance? It, who could ask for more? Not bad. And then... I'm going to put these guys at the bottom. I completely ignore building more dockyards, too. Which is probably a good thing. Can I justify these guys? Oh, my goodness. I can't. Uh, if that's the case, go ahead and do this. You guys are pretty much all properly trained. The tanks that did a very good job thus far. So we're going to do the same thing here. Maybe. If they can push across that river. Maybe. So we got some extra guys here. You guys are going to do that. You guys are going to come over and eh, double up on that group. Do we have any more fighters? Ah, emergency options. We got strategic bombers. Okay. We'll get some more fighters as well, which will be a great, great thing. And we'll put them there like that and then do that. And another focus. Reunification. I need... Oh, my goodness. We need political power. Now, I could just not do a focus, but we're going to keep doing a focus. I'm not going to do that because we lose political power, which isn't good. Not finished. Sorry for taking your time. Oh, well. Prussian Navy? No. Prussian Air. Because it gives us more political power. So we can justify and go to war with them. Oh, this is a weird mod. Not going to lie, this is really weird, but you know what? That's okay. As long as I'm enjoying it, that's all that really matters. As long as you're enjoying it, too. That's what matters, too. Uh, Infantry. That's probably a bad idea, actually. Since we got a little bit of time here. Oh, I can't do that? Oh. Well. That sucks. We're going to have to be 30 for combat with? That's really not bueno. Oh, well, that's okay. Oh, give them motorized. Let time go on. Or tip. Mm, take that off. Just because I'm going to maybe try to get bigger or motorized rocket artillery. That sounds like fun. That actually sounds like a lot of fun. All right, so tank-wise, we need more tanks. We have plenty of guns. Kampfgruppe, great. Modern Blitzkrieg, Desperate Defense. We could use a population. This gives you a little bit more organization for infantry. We should be okay. Let's go and do fire brigades. I never do Desperate Defense or, you know, that left side of the Blitzkrieg focus. I never really found it too valuable. It's not bad, but... Never found it too valuable. And I love that our guys are training. Train, my soldiers. Train. Under August von Machensen. And Marcus Taylor. Very German name. Marcus Taylor. I wonder if we take out the Poles. I kind of want to take out the Poles as well. They have so much enemies. Led by an amazing man. Look at that mustache. Wow. I wish I could grow facial hair like that. I really wish I did. Uh, oh, you have a... Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Japan, please. Do not go to war with these guys. Oh, you got gold bars. Long live Kirill Vladimirovich. Cool. Yep, keep building ourselves up. That's awesome. And how is resistance looking like right now? 58% compliance on Australia. Colonies, you know, good stuff. Good stuff. We got plenty of armored cars. Let's go back and do this. We should have enough for armored garrisons to do that. Great. Take some generals. Well, maybe eventually. Can't do that yet. Can't go to war. So instead, we shall. First planes. Take some generals. Prussian Navy. That seems pretty adequate for us right now. Eh, where are we at with this? 98%? Well, we went down from 99%. Not bad. Continue to build ourselves up. Let's see if we can justify on these guys yet. Oh, we need more world tension. Of course we do. Of course we do. Can I go to war with you guys? No. Can I go to war with anyone else? Hmm. So we seem to be a little bit trapped. Trying to raise world tension. We need to reunify Germany, but we, we're we literally not allowed to. So... Hmm. You know what? I might just cause a random war to happen. For example, I might just cause... Oops. 
between this episode and the next, uh, let's just say America and America are going to kill each other. Or America and America try to kill, kill off Japan, or Japan goes to war with China. That sounds like a lot of fun. i probably do that because we need a lot more wall tension. And I just realized... Russian Empire still owns Alaska. But anyways, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe for more. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we progress through this very weird but enjoyable mod. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.